Noha, according to the Bible, not Quran. We don't believe that. Imagine that the Prophet of God is, uh, you know, coming from the punishment of God of wrath, came on the people because of their abominable deeds. And that same Prophet is brewing the grapes, according to the Bible. And he brewed the grapes and he drank wine. And then he was drunk and he got naked under in, the, in his tent, the tent where he was resting. So the second son of Noah, Ham, he saw his father's nakedness and he laughed it out. It's a normal reaction. So Noah was slumbering, not in a deep sleep. So he saw that this son of mine was ridiculing me, or was laughing at me. So, uh, and then the first son, he covered his father, nakedness. Who? Sham. So father woke up. He called all three sons. He said, come over here. And then he said that he cursed harm, not harm, the one who was looking his father's nakedness. But he picked the fourth son of harm, which is amazing situation. And I'm asking Christian all my meetings that why did God curse Canaan? No answer yet. No answer yet. Why did God curse Canaan? Please provide the answer. No answer. So, God said, so Noah said that from this day, the children of Canaan will be the everlasting slaves for the children of Sham. What kind of curse is that? I'm asking, why did God curse Canaan or from Noah's lips? Why? Canaan was not there. He was not supposed to be there in the scripture to be cursed. Why did God pick him? And according to the Bible, Ham has four sons, Put, Cush, Mizraim and Canaan. God left all the first three sons and picked the last one. I'm asking why when Canaan was not even there. You know why? Because Canaan became Palestine. That is why. And according to the sources of Jews, Jewish scripture, they said that when Noah cursed them, God turned few of the generation of those people, maybe Cush or Put, or maybe Canaan's, Canaanites, into blacks. And this is the curse of God that your color is black. What Allah says in the Quran, Allah says in Surah Rum, chapter 30, verse 20, Allah says, The woman ayatihi, among his signs, the variances on your faces, the color and the tongue, are the miracles of God. Where Bible says the language is of difference of the language is the curse of God. And if you read the Old Testament, it's written, the Babel, the Tower of Babel, they were, the people were making this tower. God got a frightened that maybe these people are going to reach to me by putting these old high, high kind of skyscrapers. So God confused their language. He said brick, the guy is bringing water. So they were unable to make it because God was frightened according to the Bible that they're going to reach to me like this if they keep continuing like this. Can you believe this story? It's written in the Bible. So I am asking these Christians that why did God curse Canaan? He didn't do anything. It was his father. God should curse all the children. First of all, God should not curse. Oh, first of all, you said father loving and loving father in the heaven. What kind of love is this? I'm asking. What kind of love is this? Who can justify this love? The guy is not there. He has nothing to do with his father's nakedness. And God picked him that your children will be over I am not going to debate on that. This is the job of the pastors to explain why did God pick Canaan and left other three children, but all of the children should not be cursed on the first point.